I was gonna get on here this week and make a very fun video. I mean, it was gonna be fun. It was gonna be for yucky de yucks. It was gonna be for the jokes, but I can't do that because every three days I have to get on here and stop y'all from jumping out the window. Like y'all are acting like Knicks fans and you need to relax. This is getting out of control. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of proportion. What is wrong with you people? Why is it that every day I open up my phone, I see y'all trying to trade Mikel Bridges for the third pick? For the third pick with like Portland or something like that. Y'all are pushing this Damian Lillard agenda so hard, it's starting to get ridiculous. Now, I understand that Mr. Damian Lillard is tweeting out some things that have all of you scratching your proverbial chin hairs, and I get it. You know, it's it's it's, it's Dame. Star shopping is fun. Shout out Lil Peep. Like, I totally understand that. But what I don't understand is how y'all are so quick to get rid of Mikel. And if this y'all doesn't apply to y'all watching this video, Video, as in the Nets Republic audience, then you know, it ill, what it ill. But every time I open my phone, I see a new tweet, I see a new video, I see a new headline, I see a new post of people who are allegedly Nets fans getting on here trying to see what we can get from Mikel Bridges. And again, I, just, I, 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 I don't get, I don't get where this energy is coming from. Now, what I think we should do on the goofy tip, I've got a whole video for it and I'll save that for next week. But I just got to know, where is this energy coming from? This man, Mikel Bridges, goes to a bodega and gets a bacon, egg, and cheese and y'all are trying to get him to be the next mayor of New York or governor or however politics work. But, 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 but the Trailblazers acquire the third pick in the draft as far as the lottery goes, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we just lose our minds. Mikel? Y'all want to trade Mikel? And let me be clear, this is not set with a bond coming to the defense of Mikel Bridges. Y'all know I could care less. I could care less. I have no attachment to Mikel whatsoever. But if we are looking at the game plan and what it is we all agreed we were going to be doing and holding, you know, various feats to the fire and such like that and holding people accountable, we were all under the impression that there are two untouchables going into this offseason. That is Nicholas Claxton and that is Mikel Bridges. The idea that y'all are, 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 are fawning, y'all are lusting over some dork in the draft that hasn't played a game yet. Y'all looking at Scooter Braun or whoever. Like this is this this is despicable activity for Mikel. And some people who are looking forward to draft picks, like I think that's disgusting. I think that's nasty. I think you people lack loyalty. Like that's one front. But at least I can see the strategy behind it. Some of y'all are saying a straight up Mikel for Damian Lillard trade. Number one, I don't know mathematically if that works. But number two, are you drunk? For Damian Lillard? That man is 111 years old. What are we doing? We just escaped a relationship, a very toxic relationship with a superstar that's allegedly past their prime. We, 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 like, it's like, it's like, it's like, what am I stepping? Ugh. What is that? What is that? I don't know what that was, but it's like we don't learn. It's like we don't learn. Can I, can I, can I quote Sammy Classic Sonic fan for a second? Let me ask the church. Can I quote Sammy Classic Sonic fan for a minute? When we learn, when we learn that your actions have consequences. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Your, 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 your thirst for superstar talent can never be quenched. And y'all are disgusting. Again, you want to try to trade Cam Johnson, by all means, hop to it. If you don't feel like there's a place on the roster for Patty Mills or Joe Harris, get to it. You feel me? I, I ain't going to stop you. If you're looking at the, 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 the underwhelming performance of Mr. Spencer Dinwiddie when it mattered, I completely understand doing whatever it takes. If you're, if you're not sold on Finney can't make a three Smith, got you, got you, got you, got you. But Mikhail Bridges, I mean, the way y'all were on here tooting the horns, 
said, oh, Brooklyn Bridges, Brooklyn Bridges, Brooklyn Bridges, Brooklyn Bridges, to cast him aside that quickly. I mean, the way y'all turned on Karis, I thought was disgusting. I thought it was despicable work. This, this is another level. It's another level. And for all y'all that are going to get on here and say, oh, well, Sever, he just got here. I'm checking your energy at the door because every last one of you loves that man. Again, he gets a bacon, egg, and cheese from a bodega, and y'all want him to run for president. But the second Damian Lillard tweets something cryptic, y'all are the first ones to jump out the window. You should be ashamed of yourself. Absolutely ashamed of yourself. There is no, 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 no world, no scenario, no trade package, no simulation where Mikel Bridges is someone that is going to be traded. I don't care who it is. Because again, something else that a lot of people have to think about here and a lot of people have to factor in when we're having these hypothetical water cooler conversations is that we just traded allegedly the best player in the league. Now I know that's very debatable, especially with how the Suns got eliminated. But if we are talking about like, quote unquote, no brainers, Damian Lillard is not in the no brainer conversation. Kevin Durant was. D'Lo had to go. You, you, you had to do what you had to do. But Damian Lillard, at the age of 142, coming off a season at season ending injury number 45. Y'all know Damian made the playoffs in like two years? <gasps> no. Abs absolutely not. Absolutely not. Y'all are insane. And I'm telling you, I scroll past the 24. Let me read. I, hey. I very rarely do stuff like this, but I just need specific examples because I feel like some of y'all think I'm lying. I feel like some of you think I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making things up when I go over these types of things. But I'm going to read you a tweet word for word, and you tell me if you know who this dork is. We're gonna go up and down this specific tweet, and we're gonna we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty, if you will. We're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. This says right here, if I can find it, give me one second. It's here somewhere. There, there, there's a lot of Trey Young propaganda on here. I'm having to scroll through. Okay, this one is from the Glue Guys. Now, I don't know the B, the BK Glue Guys, right? This is apparently a podcast from The Athletic and Nets Daily. I don't know who any of those people are, but these two dorks right here, right? These two dorksicles right here. This is what they tweeted. And... Flip Cam Johnson for the Nets' first round pick next year. Cool, sure, you know, why not? Trade Mikel to the Trailblazers for the third overall pick. Oh, listen to this. Deal Finney Smith, Royce O'Neal, Joe Harris, and Claxton for a bundle of picks reboot. I just, I just, I don't, I don't understand. When called out by someone, this was their rebuttal. It's, uh, what does that word say? It, it's a, it's a delicate balance, but I do think the Nets could pull off a quick tank reset that puts the team in a better place a year from now. If the Nets can gain control of their own first round picks and makes it, What are we doing? What happened? It's been a week. What happened? When did we get to this point in the Nets fandom? Like y'all took Cinco de Mayo a little too seriously. I need to treat you like our last president. Put the phone down. Y'all are out here drunk. Let me read this tomfoolery one more time. Flip Cam Thomas, excuse me, Cam Johnson for the Nets first round pick next year. What? What? For a pick? Trade Mikel to the Trailblazers for the third overall. 
What? Deal. Dorian Finney-Smith, Royce O'Neal, Joe Harris, and Claxton for a bundle of picks. Because allegedly, if we do this, we can build through the draft and we'll be better off in a couple years. What happened in a week? I'm this close to cussing y'all out. But I'm holding it in and I'm trying to remain in control. Let me be the voice of reason in the room. The only thing that's wrong with this team is we have a joke of a coach. We've got a couple things that need to be addressed here and there. Like Spencer's got to go, I'm sorry. You, 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 you can't choke like that in the playoffs and think you're just going to get away with it. Spencer's got to go, obviously. We got to figure out it's either keep Joe Harris or keep Seth Curry, one of the two. And then Claxton needs some help at the center position. I don't think Daylon Sharp's going to get it done going forward. I'm going to keep it a thowie with you. But these are very small changes that need to be made. The idea that we need to blow this team up any further for more picks is asinine. Can I say that on Nets Republic? I think I can. It's ridiculous. It's nonsensical. It's idiotic. And the amount of, 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 of discussions like this being had in Brooklyn Nets spaces are troubling to me. Y'all would trade Claxton for some picks? No, 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 no. And if the video is filled in the comments with individuals telling me, Sever, you're wrong, Ew, what an ill. Because this Mets fan still has his brain cells. We will not be trading Mikel Bridges for the third overall pick. We're not doing that. We're not trading Claxton for some pick. No! Y'all, y'all, like, y'all, y'all are testing my patience. And I think you're doing this on purpose because y'all want to see me mad. I think that's what it is. I think y'all collectively, like, 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 linked up somewhere and said, how can we make Sever the Bond angry? Well, you're doing a wonderful job. Y'all need to get a grip and control yourselves. I know things don't look the best. I know things look a little wild. But Claxton... And Mikel Bridges are untouchables. And if I catch any one of y'all with this shenanigans, I'm sending diss tracks at your Twitters.